Hey guys, it's Lori. So I am overdue for a fitness update. So I thought I better get on here and check in before they assume that I fell off the wagon and I'm just doing awful. That's not the case. I'm actually doing really good. I'm not entirely sure what I weigh, but I did weigh myself on the first, or actually I think it was the second. It was Saturday, so pretty sure I weighed myself on June 2nd. But if my scale is right, and if it was right the first time I weighed, I'm down 9.4 pounds from the month of May. And I'll tell you what, I think it might be right because I've been doing really, really good on my eating and working out. And even though I haven't been posting much, I've been doing it. I know I said <laughs> in another video that I do have a lifting video to put up and I've got it edited except for the voiceover. I'm just gonna do a voiceover. So if I can ever find a few minutes of time where it's actually quiet in my house, I'm gonna do that and I'm actually gonna post it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you though. That's from several days ago and last week we were only out in the weight room twice. So we didn't do the greatest last week, but that's okay. I don't feel terrible about it because um, we've been extremely active with yard work and such. So I'm okay with that. Speaking of which, can you see the stuff back there? <laughs> yeah, I am dragging that home with me and John's gonna be like, oh my God, what are you doing? But you know what? This is a set of like that wicker furniture stuff. There's like the love seat thing and then two chairs and there's cushions and everything. The house I just worked at, the people across the street, there was a lady who was doing yard work and stuff and I saw her dragging this stuff out to the street and I'm like, hey, hi. I introduced myself to her and everything. She was like super nice. And I'm like, so how much do you want for this stuff? And she's like, I want nothing for it. She said, I want somebody to take it. So I'm like, I can do that. I came over and put my seats down and she like hauled it all across the street. I'm like, no, it's okay. I'll come get it. I'll pull over. And she's like, no, that's okay. I'm like, oh God, she's lugging this stuff all the way across the street and up these people's driveway that I'm working at. She was so nice. We stood and talked for the longest time. And she even invited me over. She's like, well, when you're done working, why don't you come over? You can have some tea or some coffee or something or have beer and have wine. It's like, oh, I really have to go home afterwards. But thank you so much. And I just thought she was just so nice, you know, so I kind of made a new friend So yeah, and I can see like hanging out with her actually. She was really a cool lady. I liked her a lot. So Yeah, um, oh and there's a table too like a I don't know. It's like a little mini coffee table type thing that goes in front of the The seat the long seat. Okay. Anyway enough of that. I filled you in on my fitness update and I'm also gonna show you real quick some of the things we've been eating and I just took a few pictures I don't I don't even remember offhand how many pictures I do have but I'm probably gonna do a voiceover on that and just hopefully the audio won't be too wacky if I do a voiceover because you know sometimes that sounds kind of like weird after you've been speaking for a while now I'm just rambling so all right here's some of the stuff I've been eating but first, I have to show you a little bit of my Memorial Day weekend, if nothing else for my own keepsake. We had both grandkids all weekend, and it was a beautiful weekend. We went to Hayden's baseball game on Saturday. Loved to watch him play baseball. And then we came home and did baths and all that good stuff. And Anna decided she wanted to paint her own fingernails, and she did really good for a two-year-old. <laughs> then on Sunday, we were outside all day. John and I did a lot of yard work and the kids played in the sandbox and just had a good time outside. And at night we ended up having a campfire. It was really nice. And of course, the kids had to have s'mores. What else can you do when you have a campfire? You gotta have s'mores, right? Anna had hers disassembled. <laughs> and John and I didn't have any s'mores, so we did good. <laughs> Oscar even joined us out there for a while. He didn't have any s'mores though. Then the kids started to get a little bit tired, so Courtney ended up putting them to bed, and after they went to sleep, John and I enjoyed some adult beverages, and that's always nice. That's kind of a rare thing, but, you know. Then Courtney and I played our djembes for a while. That was nice, too. So on to what have we been eating. Okay, so some of our snacks, some, some things we've been snacking on, things like Havarti cheese, just grab a slice of that, or a boiled egg. 
there's these snacking cheese sticks that I got from Aldi. There's the Gouda and the Habanero, Habanero Jack, however you say that. Another night I had some steamed veggies with some butter and salt and pepper. And I don't always do totally low carb. If I'm lifting, I do things like strawberries and sliced bananas. That's a half a banana on there. Another night I had some yogurt with frozen berries on top while well, they're thawed out, but that's only a quarter cup of berries. It looks like a lot more than that, but that juice, when they thaw, that it just makes so much juice. And what it is, it's the Faye yogurt, and to that I add a little bit of stevia and some imitation vanilla. Yeah, I use the cheap stuff. And the three berry blend from Costco, and it is a delicious snack. Okay, on to meals. The first one I have to show you is the chicken cordon bleu casserole, and I do have a video on that. I will put that up in the cards if you're interested in seeing it. And another thing, simple burgers <laughs> with, I actually sliced an onion and caramelized it a little bit to have with those. And on that I had the chipotle cheddar cheese, I got that from Aldi. And I just cut my burger up on a plate, put some cheese on it, some onions, and a slice of bacon crumbled, a salad with it as you can see, and some mayo on the side. The next night I had a leftover burger on a lettuce wrap with some mayonnaise. There's some bacon on top and the chipotle cheddar cheese. Another night we had some chicken breast with, that just has cheese on it, a couple slices of bacon, baked it in the oven. And with it I had the Normandy vegetables from, I get those from Costco too, and I put Montreal steak seasoning on the chicken and on the vegetables and I will be doing that again. That was delicious. Another night we had chili cheese dog casserole. It was a big hit, and of course I cooked up a bunch of hot dogs with it too. It's always nice to have those on hand for when the kids are out of school and you have the grandkids. It's nice to have them left over in the fridge. This chili cheese dog casserole was really, really good, and you can find a lot of different recipes for this on YouTube, and this is a low-carb version, so look that up and you'll find all kinds of different ones. And last but not least, last night we had pizza burgers. I have a video on that too. I'll put that up in the cards as well in case you're interested. Okay, that's it for now guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my yummy food. <laughs> Actually, it was really yummy. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.